hit a uh, big first half for you, uh, career high um, in points today. Um, what were you seeing out there? How were you feeling? It just seemed like everything you were throwing up was going in. Uh, yeah, um, my teammates got me in the right spots, and I was, I was really open most of the time, and I just made knocked down shots. AJ, uh, you seem to be seeing the floor really well. Um, a lot of, a lot of lobs, um, a lot of alley oops. Um, can you talk about uh, what you guys were seeing? Um, I was just seeing the floor real well. My big man was running, my two guard was running, my three was running. So it was just opened up the floor for me. So I, I just had to kick it to him and they knocked down the shot. For both of you guys, both halves kind of start off a little bit slow, but both times you pull away and pull away big. Uh, what, what was the key to changing the momentum a little bit in each half? Oh, I don't know. We just came out slow, like you said, in the halves. Um, we just needed to pick it up. Our energy came, AJ came in with great energy, and uh, he helped us get us going both halves. We just talked to their coach, and he described you as a guy that can turn off the lights and get in bed before the light goes out. Um, you, we've talked a lot about the speed that you have this season. Are you starting to feel like it's getting a little bit easier to control some of that and, and pick when to be quick and when to, when to be smart? Yeah, it's getting really easier for me because when I was in high school, it was just me being at a fast pace. But now I'm, I know how to calm it down a little bit and just keep going at my pace. So it's a really good experience for me. Overall, uh, I think 19 assists for you guys tonight. Um, you're sharing the ball really well. Um, is that the goal every night to come out and uh, you know have good distribution like that? Um, my <coughs> goal is to just share the ball more. So that's all we've been practicing is just sharing the ball more, making the extra pass to our teammates that's open. So just making the extra the extra pass. For either one of you, what was the goal going into tonight? Your last game before the Big Ten start, and did you accomplish that? Um, really, just win first off, and then not getting any bad habits. Um, I know we started off slow a little bit, but I think ending both halves of the game or both halves, um, we got back to what we normally do and bringing energy, hustling, all that type of stuff. Those are the main goals, and I think we accomplished them. Um, just for both of you also, uh, Big Ten starting on Wednesday. And Kate, I know you were good with last season. Asia is your first go on. Just what's the mentality? I'm sure that's why you guys both came to a school like this to play in the Big Ten. What's the mentality getting ready for Big Ten? Um, mentality, it's a whole new mentality. It's a whole new season, different feel, everything. It's, everything is heightened now. So, I mean, it's, it's, more, it's more serious, really. It's a more serious season. Your thoughts about going into the Big Ten? Um, just my first year being in the Big Ten is just me and bringing my teammates together and just us playing hard, just playing as a family. So it's a really big, big experience for me because it's my first, my first time playing in the uh, Big Ten. So it's going to be really a great experience for me. AJ, how much fun is that for you when you can make a lob to a big guy and he, and he throws it down and the crowd gets into the game? Good. Pump you up. You it, yeah, it really, I really get into that. Like for me to score, I really don't really care. But for me to pass it to my big man or my shooters in the corner or whatever, I just like them making a the play and just me being there supporting them through that. You know, you talked about your teammates finding you in the right position and making all the shots, especially in the first half. But what is it like when you have the first half? I mean, if your career high was like three three pointers, you had five at halftime. What, what does that feel like when you're, when you're hitting that many shots? Good. <laughs> I don't know. It feels good, I guess, to see all, all, a lot of shots go in in one half in a short, short amount of time. Like, is that a feeling you can get to in practice? Do you, I mean, when you're out there and you're doing it in front of 13,000 people, does it feel like when you're having a good night in practice, or does it feel different? Uh, yeah, uh, kind of like in practice. I, I know, that was the first time I really carried over practice, how I make shots in practice into the game, so I actually felt really Really good. AJ, you had a big chase down block, um, I think, in the first half. Um, you want to talk about maybe you could, uh, maybe you've been on the other end of that sometimes and talk about that play? Um, when I was in high school, I was really a shot blocker in high school, but now it's just me playing really defense and trying to get more steals than get blocks. So it was just me sizing him up and just getting a block. So it was kind of a little LeBron thing for me, just sizing him up. <laughs> After your big shooting half the first half. Did they play you differently in the second half or pretty much the same? Uh, they tried to get out a little bit quicker than they did in the first half. Uh, yeah, they told you, yeah, answer your question. Yeah, they did. What, what, what does that then open up for all the guys on the floor? Uh, if they're focused on me, you know, all the guys are open. If they're, they're crowding on me, I could have a drive. So it opens a couple things up.
Okay, this is a fourth win in a row for you guys. Um, you guys hitting a bit of a stride right before Big Ten? Yes, I, th I think we are. I think we're finally hitting our stride. It's, it's going to Big Ten is going to be huge for us. Your number one source for sports, 97.1, The Fan. Fan.